Hey guys, once again welcome to my YouTube channel Mass Master with Dhruv Gupta. In this video, I will be telling you about the new chapter topic that is lines and angles. In this video, I will be telling you about a question that is very important for the exam point of view and it is to be sure to be printed in the exam of 2020. So before starting, I would like to say you that guys, please like my video, share my video and subscribe my video so that you will get the fastest notification of my new video and maybe benefit by it. So let's start. And also I want to tell you that I will provide my telegram link in the description box so that you can join my telegram link as well to share your problems there. I will post the solutions for your problems. So let's start. What is the question of the day? The question of the day is in the given figure a B parallel to C D. Then we have to prove that P plus Q minus R is equals to 180 degree. So students, a figure is given to us and that what is given to us? A, B and C, D. These two lines are parallel. And we have to find that P plus Q minus R is equal to 180 degree. So guys, I have also told you in early, earlier videos that in proving question, we have to first of all write that what is given to us and what we have to prove because they make our step very much easy. So first of all, what is given to us? I will write given. What is given to us? A B parallel to C D. And what we have to prove? I will write to prove that both these lines are from the question. No need to worry for that. Minus R is equal to 180 degree. I have to prove this, this thing. So you are seeing here that I'm not getting any relationship between P, Q and R, but I am getting a point that if I draw a construction that is a line, which is parallel to a, B and C, D, then I will get a relationship between P, Q and R. So, what is my first step? My first step is con construction. So what is my construction? It is also necessary to write construction is draw a line. Name this as X, Y parallel to a B and C D. So this is my construction. Now I will do my construction in the figure as well. So guys, this is my construction. Now these all three lines are parallel a B C D and okay. I will also name this. Because if I will not write name in the figure, then it is not appropriate to use these things in the question. This is X and this is Y. All these three lines are parallel. All these three lines are parallel. So now I can start my question. How I can start my question? Now you are seeing that in the uh, parallel lines a b and x y e f is a transversal so by this i can say that angle a e f not a e f say it as angle a e x why i am saying so because f is the complete angle so i will say it as e f x plus a E F that is P will be equal to 180 degree by which property co interior angles property that is when two angles are formed by a transversal between the parallels on the same side of it, then they have the sum 180 degrees. So now I can start my proof. Let's start our proof. As I have told you that since AB is 
parallel to x y and e f is my transversal here so what i can say i can say that angle which angle first of all a e f plus angle which angle now i will take angle e f x i cannot write angle f because it is the q whole angle that's why i am writing e f x will be equals to 180 degree why such it is so by co interior angles this is the property i have used in this so now students what i can write in the place of a e f i can write p plus angle e f x equals to 180 degree now mark this equation as 1 let's mark this equation as 1 now you are seeing since xy is parallel to cd as well and fg is the transversal so my angle xfg will be equals to my angle fgd why because of alternate interior angles so what will be my next step since xy is parallel to which line cd and fg is my transversal so what i can say that angle fgd will be equal to the angle xfg angle xfg why such because of alternate interior angles this property states that whenever a transversal cuts through a parallel line then the angle formed by the lines on its opposite sides are equal so now i have got this what i can write in place of fgd i can write r and it will be equal to what it will be equal to angle x f g i can write this equation as one go oh, as equation second because when we have already let so i cannot name two equation as the same number this will be equation number second now you are seeing that if i find angle fex from the angle f then i can say that angle feg efg that is q should be subtracted by angle xfg then i will get efx so what i can write that angle efx i can get this angle from angle efg minus angle xfg angle xfg so now i can substitute the value of efg as well as xfg so my efx will be equals to the value of angle efg would be q and xfg will be r as i have taken it from equation second i will also mention in front of this equation minus angle r why such by equation number second and first 
because both equation are used therefore you have to write both the equation now substitute first of all let this equation to be 3 let this equation as equation number 3 now substitute the value of equation 3 in equation 1 and we will get the expression which we have to prove now what will be my next step my next step would be substitute equation right eq in equation first what i will get from here i will get p plus what is the value of efx that is q minus r is equals to what is equals to 180 degree and this we have to prove so you are seeing here that my whole solution is proved so you are seeing that how a line makes our question very easy and it is proved so remember this construction and this question is very much important so our this topic is also finished so guys before leaving i would like to say that please remember my tagline my tagline is 100% marks. So, before leaving, please like my video, share my video, and subscribe my video. Bye bye, guys. Thank you.